we're making sure that all students are locked down when we have lightning strikes within this 10 mile radius. Swamp missions are part of the rigorous final phase of one of the world's premier leadership training programs, U.S. Army Ranger School. You're gonna have snakes and bugs and spiders all over the place in the swamp. Uh, they're probably gonna walk just over a half mile through the swamp. Uh, it doesn't seem very long, but it'll probably take them uh, two to three hours to do it. Down this way, it's over stage. Charlie Company 2nd Lieutenant William Walker will navigate through the swamp with a 105 pound rucksack on his back. And let's go, we all move with a sense of urgency. We need to get out of here. The clock is ticking toward Charlie Company's next mission. With roughly one hour of sleep the night before, the simplest of tasks proved challenging. Trying to teach them the basics of offensive operations uh, in the infantry. While also testing student leadership through a series of exercises that continue almost around the clock. This particular part of the uh, exercise is all about teaching a guy how to bounce back, be resilient, and push beyond his perceived exertion levels. Master Sergeant Robert Usnick with Army Special Forces expected unparalleled mental and physical challenges at the Elite Ranger School. You think you know where your limits are, and you just keep pushing and pushing and pushing and creating new limits every single day. Charlie 1 and Charlie 2 are going to come down from their actual objectives. They're going to move down the main uh, route here. The largest objective and assault mission of the Florida phase of Ranger School awaits the students about a mile on shore. Hey, Joel, can we clear in here? They assaulted the objective, took out all the uh, opposition force. A successful final mission. But students' tactical leadership will continue to be tested through the final hour of their 61-day training. They have to walk to their patrol bases, and there will be ambushes along the way. There will be uh, attacks in the patrol bases. So the evening is far from over. Reporting for the U.S. Army, I'm Marianne Razook.